Hello everyone, it's my name. My name is Packer Fan Dave. Welcome to Rated R Raw. <laughs> As always, I'm joined in the booth by with Ryan. Uh, uh, just just some just some guy. Just some guy. Ryan's not here this week. I, I'm just some guy. I I it was just a guy. I you sound like Ryan. I, I came. I was in the VIP seat, and they said, "Hey, come over here." And so I just decided to just come over here nice. and. And now, anyway, today. anyway, that's enough about you. Uh -oh, what you're uh -oh. seeing on your screen, <laughs> folks, is correct. We're having the two guys who are going at it for the world title on pay-per-view in a few weeks competing for the tag titles against Sheamus and uh, Papa John nipple-looking uh, Cesaro. Yes. He got sausage for nipples, dude. Sausage? He has sausage for nipples. Does he like to eat sausage? Maybe. I mean, it is pro wrestling. What a kind of how many different kinds of sausage are there? And look at this! What is what be, is this? But wait, how does Bob look Hartley? At, why does he have our championship belt? He won it last week. I remember. Oh, he won it. Apparently so. What? Wait! Wait, look at closely. It says wait. Who? You suck on it. ECW's upside down. <laughs> what kind of championship is this? Look what it says in the back. Wait! It also says, Who? Is he drawing his name? What is that? Why is the name so long? <laughs> Maybe he just likes really long names. The belt is entering through his crotch. What kind of stuff is this, Ryan? Speaking of crotch, does he like sausage for breakfast? Enter like a champ. And his tag team partner from We got an achievement. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so what? Uh, so is he? Now, what are? The, what's the story behind this? Are, are they? I, didn't they compete mean? against each other last week? I don't know what you're talking about. Well, weren't you here? Didn't you see that? Yeah, I was here, but I was drunk. You were drunk? It's called Rated R Raw. This isn't for children. Oh. So, I I, I thought, I'm pretty sure they competed last week. Uh, they might have. Who, so are who, they, who the hell knows? Are they partners now? No. They're not? They're just competing for the tag titles. Because, why make things make sense? Oh. Maybe they both eat sausage for breakfast. I don't know. Okay, not my. The guy has something in the. Oh, here we go. Oh. Why are there so many Celtic crosses? Uh, maybe that's. Oh what... God, he's whiter than white. He's whiter than white. <laughs> he looks like a jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> Well, he, he actually does kind of look like mayonnaise, but I mean, and his whatever, hair looks really stupid. Beard break? Was he some sort of fucking hippie? M maybe, maybe he—he's a hippie. Ate all the mayonnaise on top of his sausages. Yeah, he looks—he looks gross. Have you ever heard of a tannin salon freak? He no, I don't think a, he really belongs in a tanning salon. Yes, he does. I, Oh, uh, yay. Thank you for playing mine. Okay, well, see this guy over here. Where, where, and then where were these people? And then, and then this guy came from behind. And then... <laughs> here comes... Look at his nipples. They look like pepperoni slices. Some Taz look like this ain't ECW. Extremely crappy wrestling. And the tag team scene has been on fire of late here at WWE. I think we're about to see another oh, hot one. Skip that real quick. Oh, here we go. Okay. Wait, so this is for the tag. Wait, these aren't the tag champ. What? This is for the tag team. This is for the tag titles, but the tag champs aren't even out here. So the actual tag champs aren't defending the belts, and it's for us. <laughs> Wait, maybe they didn't get the memo from earlier. What happened? They didn't get. They the just stuck four random guys. <laughs> It's like, hey, you four random guys, uh, why don't you go out there and try to do something? Uh, yes, yes. Ow. <laughs> like, what is this? I don't, I don't want to. 
Looking to get on a roll here. Uh. Oh. Oh, Bob, did you? Now. Let's get your take Wait. on it. Do you smell that? Oh my god. Ah, what? Oh, Bob. What did he eat earlier? In which these two are competing. I think you know, he. Oh, oh, he's going for a pin and he's farting in his face at the same time. <laughs> oh, and Seamus is, is. Oh, God, I can't. His nose might end up where his ear is. Well, I guess they call him Bob Fartley for a reason. Because, uh, well, you know. He's pinning him again. And a kick out. He kicked and out. This match continues. Oh boy. I have what? That is really he bad. hit him at the the knees, and a drop kick from a uh, from Bob Fartley, and he pooped again. I think he pooped himself because it smells bad. <laughs> We've seen some great oh, another. Over the oh. He's farting all over the ring. You need to get out of there. He was tagging his if tag team partner. If there's a superstar that WWE fans know will fight until he literally has nothing left, it's Sheamus. The Celtic Warrior has become a decorated superstar and famous for taking the fight to anyone that gets in his way or... I wonder how he stays out of the sun. Like, like does he have to wear special clothing? He's pinning him. Do you ever well, think about that? that like, I wonder how... Or does, oh! Does, does it shine very much? In Ireland or wherever, wherever he's from? No. It rains. It rains? I think so. So. Folks, if you want to learn about Raw's most tumultuous period, be sure to check out the Monday Night War on WWE Network. Uh oh. King, it's no longer surprising. Oh! Oh, there you go. Back down from the fight. Back down from any man and back down from any challenge. Sheamus attacks his opponents with a tenacity that has never been witnessed before. Bob Farley party like and excitement. Yeah, again. Come on. Give, well, give me back in there. The I got a really good one. <laughs> oh, and he's going back in. Oh, oh, God. Oh, crop dust. Uh, uh, oh, and he farted on his crotch. That's uh, that. Uh, <laughs> That's a bit weird. <laughs> oh man, it stinks over here. So much abuse before it collapses. I hope we don't see that here. Oh no, and he got him. Oh, oh reverse DDT as he farts again. <laughs> He's going up to the top rope. He's gonna do the flying fart. Uh, Thank oh. you. <laughs> Somehow he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. That was good. Listen, we all know he's going for a pin. He decides he doesn't want to. Oh. Whoa. Watch it. Watch it. Oh, and a DDT. Oops. Just been put on notice. Here we go. We know it's coming. What is he going for? Uh oh. Someone. Yet another one for the highlight reel. Oh, oh. What? Someone. That was at a kick out. He didn't even touch that, that move is called the someone. Someone. The referee getting involved now. When Sheamus became a fan favorite, he quickly became one of the most popular superstars. Uh, oh, when he gets smashed as he farts again. <laughs> what do you have? Did he hit up in the Mexican buffet? I think he invented his own burrito. He might have. It's just called the Bob Fartley three bean and cheese burrito. Oh, and white noise from Sheamus. Sheamus hitting the white noise on him. And he... We, we've never seen anybody kick out of it before he even went for a cover. Oh, and a punch in the midsection. And now Sheamus is farting. <laughs> I just saw Sheamus' face get red. He knew he tooted. Oh, no, I think he was about to, but maybe, maybe he just it didn't come out right. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. And here's a cover. His partner's being punished, and he's seen it up. Uh, and he couldn't get him. Oh, 
all the dudes. And there's the count. This move is called all the dudes. <laughs> all the that sounds um Ryan. Not that there's anything wrong with it. That sounds a bit No, because they're all all the dudes are in the ring at one time. That's why it's called all the dudes. <laughs> Copyright infringement right there. There's the switch. The switch? I sir I heard another commentator say something. Finally gets out of the ring. Uh Oh, what? Oh, my hand. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing. Oh, and a snapmare thing take down when something. This guy's on, look out. Oh, here you go. Oh, jackhammer. It's got to be over now. Oh, that was nice. No. Hey, no one said he was Goldberg, did they? Man, he's still down after that move. I almost wonder if his bell got seriously wrong there. Oh, what is he going for? This lunatic. He's going to break someone's neck with that move. Uh, this match Ryan, how come you don't care about these, these wrestlers' well-beings? I care. Well, I mean, I, I kind of don't like three-fourths like three care. Or maybe more like 50% care. At stake. Which team wants it more? <laughs> well, that's the question of the night. That's the question uh -oh. this match will answer, Michael. Oh, pin. Pin. Looking One, for all the glory here. two. Oh, interrupted. As Bob Farley. Shoulders down. This could be it. Count, ref, count. Oh, and he didn't uh, get him. Oh, the dudes. And the ref starts to count. He's oh, got his opponent. And what's he going for here? Oh, and... Bob Bartley and Kyle King were talking to each other, but oh, and he reversed it, <laughs> and the referee gets knocked down. Oh no, the referee! What happened? The referee got knocked down. The referee is like, oh my gosh, all the dudes. Wait, he just oh, he just grabbed a sledgehammer. It's like he gave him the sledgehammer. Oh, and he he didn't let him use it. Oh, and he tosses him with a penis to penis suplex. <laughs> Oh, now I got. Now he's got to restart all of his work again. Oh, that was a nice flying punch. And he's elbowing him in the ball himself in the balls with Cesaro's leg in between them. And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. Spectacular move against Cesaro right there. Hey, the shoulders are down. Oh, and he got him. Yay. And Kyle King picks up the victory as we have new tag team champions. Well, then. I can't believe what we saw during this. This is interesting development. So, what did uh, uh, something, uh, Bob Bartley say something to Kyle Cage last week about wanting a rematch? Yeah, and they're gonna have a rematch. But they, but they're at like some tag. Point. There's like a some sort of conflict of interest because now they're tag team partners at the same time. I don't think he really cares. Oh, well, this is an uh, interesting. I think he's just trying to get on his good side so that way when he backstabs him. Oh, it's less shocking. This could be potentially problematic in our next episode no it's not which we will check out next week uh, if you enjoyed this video click like, like share and share and subscribe. subscribe if you're new and we will see you guys next time